see why you need a helmet when you ride a bike. You do not want to go home. And why even mechanized animals can be dangerous on The Adrenaline Project. I'm Kaz, and this is the Adrenaline Project. Five competitors will arrive at base camp and compete in two extreme challenges under the watchful eye of Boomer, the man that runs the place. Now, he eliminates two and sends the final three to me. At that point, <laughs> playtime's over. I'll take him through to the final secret challenge, which will discover who will attain the title of the ultimate adrenaline, and, of course, the bragging rights to go with it. My name is Michael. I'm 16 years old. I got Athlete of the Year this year. I got MVP for the Junior Boys Soccer. And I'm an adrenaline junkie. I'm Allison. I'm 16 years old and I'm ready to play. I played rugby, uh, tried volleyball. But my favorite moment is crack of the bat. When you hit a really sweet double or triple, that's the best feeling. I'm Lindsay. I'm 16 years old. And competitors better watch out because I'm a Texan butt. Ray, I'm 16 and I'm very competitive and I'll do anything to win. My name's Ryan, I'm 16 years old and I'm here to win and not to make friends. I'm Boomer and I'm here to prepare you for Kaz's final challenge. Three of you will make it, and two of you won't. It's that simple. The two challenges you face here are about thinking as much as they are about brawn. So why don't you try using your brains for once and see how that goes. It's a little more intense than I thought it'd be. Boomer's been working us really hard. Let's go, come on, hustle. I didn't expect to be rolling around in mud. Especially with the army crawl, I found that especially difficult. Use those legs, use those arms, come on! I think everybody's doing pretty good. Mike's been doing really good. Don't you stop now! He just seems like an overall good athlete, and that's who I'm really worried about right now. He is really physically fit, but I think mentally he may not be as prepared as everybody else. Keep it up! Let's move, let's move! Oh, it's good fun. I actually feel a lot more comfortable now. Adrenalites, we got ourselves a little obstacle course called Wheels of Misfortune. Might want to put your helmet on for this one because you might get hurt. I want you to start at the barrier, get on your bike, and pedal across that first bridge. Slalom your way through those tires and get ready for that second bridge because it's coming up quick. Try to keep your balance over that beam and don't forget to chug your way through that deep water trench. Come out of the trench and go through that tunnel and hit that ramp hard. Follow the arrows through the mud and work your way to the finish line. This is a timed event. Person with the best time wins and chooses who goes first in the next challenge. Person with the worst time is headed home. Let's choose who goes first right now by pulling straws. We knew Ray, like she was the only one who didn't want to really go first. All right, Ray, let's get you suited up. And then she had to go first, which was a really big deal for her. It's definitely difficult to go first. <laughs> Immediately when I started the obstacle course, it was really difficult to pedal just because there are a lot of obstacles in my way. First with the logs, that was pretty hard. And then you're faced with what I thought was the most difficult part of the obstacle course, which was the beam that you had to bike across. And I had trouble with that, I felt. Don't quit on me, don't quit. You got it, buddy, get up! Yeah, the beam, the beam's on, brutal, right? I think you really needed to think in advance what you're tactic would be. There you go, there you go, there you go. Good work, good work. Now get to that deep water trench. Come on, Ray, this is a timed event. Let's move. You do not want to go home. The mud at the end was really difficult just because it was almost impossible to pedal through. You've got it, you've got Come it. On, Ray. Pedal, pedal. Come on. Uh, pedal, you, you gotta pedal. pedal. Finish, finish. Get to that finish line. Oh, Time. Okay, good job. Allison, you think you can beat her? Absolutely. 
Like I said, I have done a little bit of biking, but I've never done mountain biking. Nice! She's pedaling! Now the beam was fun. <laughs> keep your balance, keep your balance! Oh, you, oh. oh! The beam was good. I just remember going head first to the hay. Do it again! Nice. You got it! You got it! Ooh. Oh! You okay? Oh, that was comfortable though. She, brought, she didn't want to get up. So I ended up trying to tiptoe across. So I was getting a little tired of going head first. Good work! I'll get through that trench! And then the water trench, there was just no way getting through there. Put some speed here! All the way to the end! There you go. Now you're moving. Come on, go, 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 go! Don't stop, nice don't stop! Time! And Max. Let's go, buddy! Go, right. Nice! The start was hard because, like, you only had so much starting room that was flat before the first long bridge. Nice! You got it! He's got it. As soon as I got over the bridge, I was like, I'm doing really well right now. I was worried about that, and just to be able to do that first try was a big deal for me. And I knew that would give me a big boost. Hey, you're actually pedaling! Good work! You can, like, take a break. Yeah. It's all you, buddy! Finish it up, finish it up! Go, let's go! Finish her up, finish her up! Time! Yeah! I thought I had an advantage going into the race because I have done mountain biking before. We've done a task that plays to Ryan's strengths, clearly. There you go, good, 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 good. Run, don't stop, don't stop. First time over the balance beam, wasn't so successful. It took a huge nose dive off the right. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. So uh, I'd seen some of my earlier contestants like tiptoe across it. So I was like, okay, well I should try that. There you go. Hey. Hey. Now get to that water trench. Then the water pit was pretty brutal. Like It's like four feet deep, and you just pretty much dead stop when you get into it. Does anybody pedal anymore? Now you're moving. Come on, Lindsay. Nice. Yes, good there work, you good got work. It. You got it. Don't stop. Yeah, you need it here. You need it. There you go. There you go. Oh! Mud was really hard. Like couldn't move at all. I tried even like pedaling, and like, my bike just wouldn't move. Kind of had to push your feet off it to try to get around. Push, 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 push. Time! I didn't really get enough speed. I wish I had gotten faster through it out, but what can you do? You're the last guy, Mike. Let's go, buddy. Let's go, let's go. When I was going over the logs, I knew I had to gain speed to cruise across the, the beam. Paddle, 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 paddle. I was too concentrated on getting across the beam. I wasn't concentrated on what was in front of me. And I think that's what maybe is screwed me up. Nice, nice, nice. All the way over. Good. Oh. Let's get through that trench. I'm very determined and I want to succeed and I hate when people beat me. Like it eats me up inside. That's what pushes me to do a lot better. Nice, nice, nice. All the way over. Good. All the way to the finish, buddy. Mud is impossible. And time. Good job out there, Mike. Now line up. <laughs> Somebody's going home with 56 seconds in first place. Ryan, in second place, with a minute and 20 seconds. Mike, Lindsay, you got third place with a minute and 46 seconds. Allison, with two minutes and 47 seconds. Fourth place. Ray, your time of 3.04 just wasn't enough to get you to the next challenge. Say your goodbyes. I think the later you went in the game, I think you had an advantage in that you got to see the mistakes that other people made. And, well, I tried my best. It seems Ray was unfortunate enough to be our first elimination. One more to go before the remaining three come to me. <laughs> I thought it would be a lot closer than it was. You don't remember second place, you remember first. The person I'd like to see go home would be Michael, because he is my biggest threat in the game. We all get on great, but Lindsay and I get on the most, I guess, because I think Ryan and Mike are more of a competition to me than Lindsay is. <laughs> Doing fantastic, by the way. I don't know, everybody's a good athlete, so gotta watch out for all of them. All right, line up. This one's called Rodeo Clown. One at a time, you're gonna get on that bull. We're gonna start moving that thing around. 
Now notice those flags attached to the pylons. Yellow's worth five, red's worth 10, and blue's worth 15. I want you to lasso them using these rings. You got two minutes to collect as many points as you can. If you could stay on that bull without falling off, I'll award you an extra 30 points. Person with the most points wins and chooses who goes first in Kaz's final challenge. Person with the least is mosey on home. Now, Ryan, you won the last event, so you get to choose who saddles up first in this one. Uh, I think he's going to be my biggest competition, so uh, Mike. All right, let's get you suited up, Mike. Back. You all set, Mike? Set. There you go, cowboy, hold on. Well, the first minute, I didn't, uh, I didn't find it too hard. But as the second minute came and I had to throw the rings, uh, I didn't realize how difficult it was. Speed it up, come on! Go all the faster now, isn't it? It's okay, maybe if you fall off, maybe you can grab that ring. I dropped two of them, and so I only really got three to throw, and I missed completely. Right. it's all you. <laughs> Time. Well, Mike struggled a bit. Go work, Mike which actually kind of surprised me, but I think it was just because he went first. And at first you're a bit shocked, then you just kind of realized how to kind of you know, move your muscles. Try to get those rings! If you want, you can just try to get them off you first. Don't let go to throw, oh! The fall was, uh, was a little sudden, because it was kind of like all of a sudden I just had no grip. Time's still on. 30 seconds. Shocker at first. I'm um, just getting used to the bull, but it was pretty good. I thought I had it down, and then it was moving faster. You had to get your lassies off your head and throw them the target, which was really tough. Come on, Lindsay. That was close. Come on. Come on, Lindsay. You got it. Oh, oh, you almost had a yellow flag there, buddy. Well, obviously, if I stayed on the bull, I'd make it to the next day. That's my main focus. You got 25 seconds. Lindsay's was, I thought it was the best because she got all of hers off. She didn't fall, she didn't drop any. Good work. Good job, dude. All right, Ryan, it's between you and Allison. All you gotta do is hang on. I thought it'd be easier, the bull, but no. <laughs> Try to use every muscle, you're gonna need them. Don't forget to hold on. I threw one ring, it was just way too hard to hold on. The bull's got your name on it. Come on, use those arms, use those legs, don't give up. Hold on, buddy, come on, use those legs and ankles. Keep your balance. He's off. How's the equilibrium doing? Oh, look at you. 15 seconds. I thought Ryan's performance actually a little bit surprised me. There you go, just hold on, buddy. Are you using your teeth? Like, I was just holding on for dear life. So hard. The event caught me off guard because I've never done it. <laughs> so scared I was gonna go home. I came from owning the first one to just squeaking by in this one. That's what it came down to, hanging on. Nobody hit any targets. Three of you held on and one of you didn't. I'm sorry, Allison. Say your goodbyes. You're going home. Yes. Bye. See you. Well, I think in the end, I just got beat because I wasn't as strong as the other three, but I really did have a great time. Because I think if I was with a group that I didn't enjoy being with and I won, I think I'd get a lot less out of it than being with these guys and having a great time. Allison's heading for her home on the range because of Rodeo Clown. Three left, and they're all mine. Let's go. Uh, I think Lindsay's going to be a little lonely. We always say, you know, let the best man win and let the women go home. <laughs> I know we all have to come into the game not knowing what the next competition is, so you don't know whose strengths will become played and who's not. I'm actually kind of hoping it's something in the water. I'm really good in the water, but... Ahoy! All right.
right, come on guys, watch your step. Come aboard. Welcome to my final challenge. You made it this far, but I'll tell you, Boomer didn't let you guys off easy. Your first challenge, Wheels of Misfortune, taught you all about working with upper body strength as well as control. The second challenge, Rodeo Clown, one of my personal favorites, taught you about working under pressure. All that training has prepared you for this, the final challenge. Here's the deal. You've got this sweet watercraft, which you've got to race and collect three flags. The first flag is red. The second flag is blue. Now, in between that section, there's an obstacle course. Now, once you reach the yellow flag, things are a little different. Lose the watercraft. You've got to be in the water. It's the finish line. Each flag represents seconds that will be shaved off your time. The person with the best time will become this week's ultimate adrenaline. Now, in the second challenge, it was a tie. Ryan, since you dominated the first challenge, you get to decide who goes first. Who's it going to be? Uh, I think I'm going to do Mike again. Mike, all good. oh, you ready for this? I'm always ready, man. I'm always all ready. All right, all right. Let's get you suited up then. Three, two, one. Rip it! <laughs> going for it though, turn back. As I grabbed the first flag, I didn't know where to put it. So I'm like, you know what, I just put it in my mouth and that was the quickest thing that came to my head. So I think I actually lost a little bit of time while I was thinking. Now he's got the swallow. He's got the obstacle course. That's it, Mikey boy, go, Mikey! Oh, oh. I hit the second turn and I did a little 360 and I think I, I recovered all right, you know, it was all right. I could have shaved off a second or two. Alright, Timmy's got the second flag. He's got the second flag. You're doing good time! He's on the straightaway. And I went on the straightaway to race to the third bowie and just dive right off. That's it, that's time! Yep, take your free. How do you feel? It was awesome. Nice work. Give me your flags, we're gonna take a look at those and we'll talk. You ready, Lindsay? Rip it up! Woo I can keep my ground with the guys, so. Like Mike and Ryan are good athletes, and I want to beat them and win a prize, so <laughs> it'll be fun. Oh, she's getting air! She got the first flag! Way to go, Lindsay! I think you got a competition, Mike. Rip it! I tried to want to put as much speed as I could because I knew, obviously, you want to go as fast as you can. At the same time, I didn't want to fall into the water. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Bring it back! All right, Brian, are you ready? I'm in. Rip it! Those things went ripping fast. Driving them was an absolutely incredible experience. Brian, right, looks like he's hitting the first flag. Oh, he's taking it slow. He's being delicate about it. All right, he's got the first flag. Now he's doing the obstacle course. He's actually doing it very sweet. You guys nervous now? I'm a little bit nervous. Up to the second flag. Is he going to slow down in time? Slow down. Oh, he's got technique. That's it. Now get that last flag. And that's time. All right, Ryan. Nice work. Nice work, guys. I think it's getting too late. We're going in. How you guys feel it? Good. It's a long day. Well, you all did well. Congratulations. Now, let's get down to business. How do you think you guys did? Mike. Uh, I thought I could have done better. There's a couple parts of my uh, my little routine I did, I guess. Yeah, you spun out a bit. Yeah, I did a little 360. I think I lost some time on that, but you know, we'll, we'll see how it holds up. OK, Lindsay, how about you? Um, there's definitely points where I like, sped up my time, but I did the best I could, so. Ryan, how do you think you did, my man? Pretty confident what I did, I think I got a good shot at winning the whole thing. In the first competition, you dominated. In the second competition, well, you guys all tied. But I gotta tell you, in the third and final challenge, Ryan, not good enough. Your time was 53 seconds. Not enough to beat Lindsay's and not enough to beat Mike's. Thanks for playing our game. Nice job. I was super bummed about the results. I thought I did a lot better. I thought I at least would have been in the final two, but to go third was a big disappointment. Now, I got to tell you, this was a very close race. Mike, 
Your time was 51 seconds. Not enough to beat Lindsay's time of 50 seconds. <laughs> Thanks for playing my game. We'll see you around. Thanks, John. That's me. <laughs> Thanks. You know, whatever. That, that turn, that, that little 360 that I did, just that's, I guess that's what caught me at the end. How are you feeling, Lindsay? Good, you know, the boys, like, they're fun, but they're pretty cocky the entire time, so it's nice to beat them. <laughs> you had some trouble on Wheels of Misfortune and barely made it through Rodeo Clown, but you taught the guys to respect the ladies. Lindsay, you are this week's Ultimate Adrenaline. Yeah.